everybody and welcome. My name is Camden Long. Thank you for clicking in to this live stream on YouTube. This is an online TEFL teacher training. Everything you need to know how to start and maintain success. There's 10 main principles that I'm going to be covering in this live stream right now. And at any time, feel free to ask me a question. I love questions. And thank you to all of the support out there on YouTube. We broke 5,000 subscribers this past week, and we're gonna keep growing and keep going and keep on flowing and teaching. That's right. You gotta understand that you have the opportunity of a lifetime right now as a teacher, if you're an experienced teacher from teaching at a school, or if you are new and you're looking to teach English online, there's endless opportunity. So we have three people on right now. Let me see if I can see who is on here. Is there any way that I can see who's on here? Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you guys, the three people who came in here, I'm trying to see where you guys are, who you are, but I can't find out. So you'll have to let me know below. Comment, let me know who you are. So number one, to be a successful online English teacher and to maintain that success, there's 10 elements that I'm going to go over. Number one, you need to ask yourself this important question, how to use my voice? So ask yourself that question right now. How to use my voice? Okay, so what you need to realize is I've seen a lot of people, listened to a lot of people, communicated with a lot of people and reviewed and researched a lot of people on Palfish profiles and not just on that but also on Facebook. So when there's a new person coming to me who wants to be an online English teacher, first thing I do is I check out their profile on Palfish, their their avatar, their profile picture, how many pictures they have uploaded, their written intro, their voice intro, and I almost pretty much now have a good feel of whether or not that person is going to be successful or not. And then at the same time, I can point out some things that are great, that are, can work in your favor, and how you need to also enhance some areas so that you can be, become a better teacher. And more people are going to be attracted to you because I had a, a referral, a successful referral last week, a week and a half ago, and she did not need to contact me a lot. She did the interview, went right into it, and already 89 students. 89 students. Why? It's because of the pictures she's uploaded. It doesn't take much. Go outside, get a big beautiful green tree, selfie it up, filter it a little bit, but make sure that the, per the people on Palfish can understand and see that it's you and not some super fake uh, emoji-fied Photoshop photo because I think it's it works for some people, but I'm just trying to come at you guys from an honest perspective. If you are an employer and the person uploads a picture and it's like cartoonish and they really can't even identify who it is, that's not the best way to start. So put a great picture on there, something that's gonna uplift and bring people to you. You know, take a look at my profile, take a look at Rice James' profile, take a look at some of the teachers who have over a thousand, two thousand hours teaching experience and you will see reasons why they are successful and they have bookings. So there's a lot of great teachers out there that you guys can take note from. So that's number one, how to use my voice. You've got to learn how to articulate yourself. You can't come into a kid's lesson, especially when they're a beginner, with the mentality of these children are on a high school conversation English level because it's gonna be a rude awakening for you. And I have gotten messages from some people saying that, hey, there's no way that I could do this teaching little kids. It seems uh, way too frustrating and a lot of patience. And yes, all those things are challenges, but I really love teaching and there's a lot of great online English teachers out there who really enjoy that one-on-one -on -one interaction, even if it's on a phone or the iPad. I think it's, it's changed my life because I used to be teaching at schools stressed out, overworked, underpaid, too many students, the dress code as a teacher, I'm just all that stuff. And now I'm at my home, I'm chilling, 
I'm teaching, I'm making money, I'm making people happy, I'm inspiring people, and you guys can do the same thing because you have a choice every single day. And you gotta take, you gotta take yourself seriously. Have fun, relax, you know, enjoy life. But you gotta start making the mark. You gotta start putting in the hard work, which most people are not willing to do. So record yourself, 60 seconds. 30 seconds every morning. You don't even have to share or upload it to anybody. You could just listen to it for yourself. But another thing that really helped me out was when I got like a microphone. And what I realized was the micro the microphone that I got wasn't really it wasn't functional with what I was trying to do. But the good thing is when I plugged it into my phone and I would speak and it had my headphones on, I could hear this like echo, like I'm, I'm really, really serious. If there's anything from this live stream right now that's going to impact you the most is this for your voice. Get like this, uh, it's like a, mic a microphone and I put it into my ears and I plugged it into my iPhone. And so when the student, and again, when I was teaching with the student, since I was plugged into my microphone, they could still hear outside noise. It wasn't canceled out like when you have your, your, your earplugs in or something like that your headphones or your earphones. And when I had the microphone in, I was listening to myself, you know, through the earphones. So I could really emphasize and understand, I was like, wow, my voice sounds really good in this way. Or wow, I really need to kind of like bring up my voice level a little bit and then project myself a little bit more. But again, look, I, yes, I took a public speaking class. Here comes a tractor. <laughs> so I never had a coach or a mentor for voice and speaking skills and stuff. This was all self-taught. How do I how can you teach yourself to have a better voice? Like I said, post videos every day on Palfish. Do more audio podcasts on Palfish. Record your own self and don't even have to upload it, share it to nobody. And you can get the kind of experience that you need and the minutes that you need for your voice level to improve. Number two, how to present myself. Well, number one, you need to have a blue shirt if you're with Palfish. And you gotta think about your background. Some things I like to do sometimes because this window is really big and it's beautiful, there's like two big coconut trees back here. And when the sun's setting right back here, it's really, really beautiful. And a lot of my students talk about that. So think about where you're setting up your background. and how you present yourself, are you like this, are you like that? There's all kinds of different things that you wanna take into consideration. So you need to be well-groomed. Even this is like too much. I mean, there's some people, look, maybe it's not a big deal for some people, but uh, typically, you know, a lot of Asian cultures, uh, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, even here in Thailand too, you don't see a lot of people with beards. You know, and so they they like a conservative look. So you guys need to take a note of that. You need to take a note of that. My hair is a little wild right now, you know, and I need to shave and stuff. So these are all things that you really need to take in consideration. Number three is what equipment do you need? Well, you can get yourself a simple table tripod to keep your phone or your, you know, your iPad straight. There's earphones that you can use. I had, I did have to use them the other day because there was some construction, some, some yard work going on out here with some chainsaws. And so the earphone can help to cancel out the background noise. I would say the earphones, getting a microphone so you can start to train your voice. And then also I really recommend the tripod. And I did have a physio ball, but now I have a seat because I was having some trouble with my back. So I'm kind of experimenting with some new things, but a physio ball is really great. That helps. And, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Number four, what TPR techniques are the most effective? Well, TPR, you could have, there could be a thousand TPR. Like, for example, are you okay? Like, you guys have to be creative and you have to find your own touch of creativity, your own touch of character as a teacher, as an instructor, whether it be at a school or online. And what you realize is, I've been doing this for over a decade now, so I've put together my own type of swag as a teacher. So sometimes I might not use that much TPR when it's an older student, right? 
or might not use so much engaging body contact. It all depends. But I will say that you do need to learn how to communicate yourself. Like when you're really trying to do something, like it could be technique, technique, meek. There's all kinds of things that you can do. And yes, it can be exhausting. Yes, it can be draining, but that's your job. And if you go that extra step, that extra mile, kilometer, meter, inch, centimeter, millimeter, if you go that extra little bit, it's gonna pay off and you're gonna get more bookies. And I wanna tell you guys also, if you just had two students, those two students might lead you to four or six new students. There's like a group of students that I have in the north of China um, and Liaoning and Heilongjiang, really, really cold places close to Russia actually. And <laughs> it's really, really cold there. So there's not a lot of opportunity for teachers to go up there because it's a really difficult place to stay year round and teach on a contract. More people like the south of China because of the warmer weather. And so with that being said, there's a lot of northern Chinese people, people in northern China who are looking for really good teachers to help their daughters and their sons to improve their English. So there's like a group of three now. Yeah, three friends who are in the same class and I have them weekly. So you never know how one class could quickly change your whole experience on the platform or wherever you're teaching and how that can bring in new bookings and new lessons and new students for yourself. Hey guys, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Feel free to let me know. I'm kind of, I wish I could see who was in here and I could say hello. Can anyone just say hello? Can anybody say hello? There's five people watching. Come on, somebody has to understand some English. If not, that's okay. Okay, so guys, I went through four things. Now I'm gonna go through number five. What is my, Steven, oh, thank you, man. Hope you're doing really great in Vietnam. Seems like you are. I haven't done a video on YouTube in a long time, so I just wanted to put out a live video so it wasn't like so much pressure because I haven't uploaded a video in a long time and I'm like really nervous, you know? So I just wanted to do the live video and go over a few things that help some people out because I do realize that every day I don't upload a video, it's an opportunity missed, it really is. Short memory, I hope you're gonna have a long memory after watching this live video. Yeah, you know, Steven, I watched your video too, man, and I think you're doing a great job with the kids. It was like a night class, I think, and you were trying to get them to do the er sound, and I, man, I'm a stickler for that too. Look, I think the British, Australian, all accents in English are really cool and have their own type of, you know, style and attractiveness, but when we are from a place where we say er instead of uh, it's really important. And if the, st the student doesn't get that that foundation as a, at a young age, then they're gonna really struggle with it in their teenage years and then they're gonna continue it throughout their adult life. So uh, it, it's, yeah, I could be really boring and mundane and say, okay, number one, this is your number one TPR. Number two, this is the best for TPR. Number three, this is your TPR. But what you really gotta do is learn your own style of body language. And that's the truth because all right, you ready? Like I remember my first, the first tra trainer that I had was like, are you ready? Let's go, like something like this. And I'm like, mm, how's that really gonna work? So there's all kinds, I know I keep saying there's all kinds. Okay, Kim, why don't you just tell us? I don't need to go through it all. I want you guys to take that challenge upon yourself. I'm out here giving the awareness. I want you guys to go and research it. Now, my secret technique for online teaching, at everything I do, and it all adds up and it all has a percent into what makes this whole package work for myself and for other teachers. But for me, I have to say the thing that works and never, it never falls, it always rises, is when I go into my photo grid. Now, when you're on Palfish, you do have to be careful because some parents, they like pictures and stuff outside the lesson and some may not and you might get a complaint, so just beware. The next thing you have to be very aware of is the type of pictures that you're gonna show the students, their age range, their likes and interests, you know, and boys and girls, they do kinda of like different stuff. 
Maylene here from Powfish still watching. Hey, Maylene, I want to say thank you. And I think it's, I want to say congratulations because you're from the Philippines and you've been verified to teach on Powfish. So that's a huge accomplishment and you really need to be proud of yourself. And also, you know, keep learning. I don't know how old you are, but I think that anyone from a non-native English speaking country that gets accepted on Pal onto Powfish, that's a huge achievement and should take it seriously. So really dedicate some time, keep a low rate to get your students up and you never know where it could go. It could be it within one year, within six months, maybe could become a great part-time or even full-time side income because you're in the Philippines, you know? Um, I've been bragging since, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great, Maylene. You're 27, okay. So yeah, learn as much as you can and get started as quickly as you can. So five people on here still. Can someone please say hello? Someone, someone please say hello. So my secret technique is photo grid. Um, for beginner students to my regulars, you're very welcome. And I mean, it could be ice cream. It could, right now the hottest thing is the Avengers 4, end game, right? So a lot of my students, even some of the girls, they went to go see the movie, and some of my girls, they don't even know what it is, but my boy, my guy students, they're all like, did you see the Avengers 4, Iron Man, die? you know, all this stuff. So I'll show the pictures of Iron Man and uh, Thor and Spider-Man. I'm just kind of giving some generic examples, but it really works because you could go from whether the student is feeling uncomfortable or a bit shy or their level is very low and they don't know how to express themselves very much and you show a picture of a cute puppy or some delicious strawberry ice cream and it quickly could change, at least get a smile on their face or get their eyes to look different at, least, at you. These are all things you really need to be aware of because when you're teaching a student through a small screen and you start to see their attention go elsewhere or their voice drops or they really don't care, there's all kinds of stuff that you have to take into consideration rather quickly and make a move. So. When you go, when you go to your photo grid, you they the student will see that you have like left the application and that you've gone into the background. No, 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 sorry. That's when you go on the internet. When you have to translate something, which I can use translator sometimes. It works. It depends on what student. It all depends on the student. So you have got to find out more about yourself. You've got to understand yourself more. You've got to understand your students more. And for example, the stuff that I love is somehow the same stuff that my students love. And not everything 100%. There's some students who don't like the stuff that I like, and that's cool. Some of them really like Star Wars and Luke Skywalker, and some don't. That's all about asking and showing pictures to see what they like. And then over time, if they've become your regular students, you already know what they like, you know where their strengths are, you know the kind of conversations that you can have and the topics that you're talking about. All these things will come together for you. Trust me. I'm going a thousand miles an hour right now in my mouth. But I, I really, I, it's number five, but that's really the secret technique. That's like the ultimate helper is using photos in the lesson. How to teach beginner students. This is number six. Wow, we're almost 20 minutes into it, but it's all good. There's six people here. Who are you? Who's watching? Who gave me a thumbs up? I don't know. Okay, number six, how to teach beginner students. So, whew. all I gotta say is have props. Big dolls, TV, what up? How you doing? Where are you coming from right now? Where are you at? I'm in Thailand. So, peanut butter. Oh my gosh, some kids know what peanut butter is, right? And I'll show them the peanut butter. It could be. Stuff like this, if you got something with wash hands or you got something with soap, you can show them these wet wipes. These are paraben free and alcohol free, by the way. You can just open it up and you can say open, like little stuff like that. And look, sometimes I like when the parent is there and sometimes they may interfere. I mean, it's just the way it goes. Uzbekistan, wow, so cool, man. I had no idea my videos were getting out to there, so. 
gratitude and uh, thanks to everybody out there. And is it Uzbekistan or Uzbekistan? Well, you can't talk to me right now, but hopefully I said it correctly. Um, yeah, these videos. It's amazing to have a YouTube channel where it goes to so many people in so many countries. And when I go through and I look at the countries that a lot of my videos are playing in, I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Like, I need to travel. I need to get out more. But then you have a wet wipe. You open it up. You wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands. And thanks to the people who gave me two thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. I find that when even stuff like dental floss, I'm telling you, I'm serious. There's all kinds of stuff that you can use. A toothbrush, right? Brush your teeth. Do you have, do you have a toothbrush? Little stuff like that. Yes, I have a toothbrush. I brush my teeth in the morning, in the evening. There's all, there's so many things that you can pull that from. And then here's my uh, Skywalker juice. Really, it's like a flower juice, but you know, you got to have things around you on your table that you like to talk about, that things that are interesting to you, you know, things that you're passionate about, things that you like to do every day, because the more things that you love and you present in your class, the easier it is to talk about and your energy is different. That's the whole thing. Your behavior, your energy and the way you talk about it is different. If you talk about something that you don't like, they're going to be able to see it and you already know it. But if you're showing them something that you love and that you really like, like for me, I love showing fruits and vegetables because most of Chinese meals have vegetables in it. So if you can show them some vegetables and fruits, it helps improve their English and it gives a little bit of a different 3D dynamic, okay? So many things you guys can do. And that's why you guys have to keep experimenting. You have to try new things. Hendry Starbuck, I wanna say thank you for watching. It's a long live video, but I really, really appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Big dolls, I'm happy that my videos brought you to Palfish. Um, as of right now, the OKC, the official course for Palfish is just open to native English speakers, and it's not open yet to people from South Africa. I know it's not a lot on the free talk, but I don't know your current situation, but there are some people out there who, look, I was on free talk for the first over six months. Actually, it was more than that because we didn't have official course till I was over a year in there. So um, it's hard work. What can I say? It's hard work. And I had to put in that hard work and it's paid off. And that's why I can share these videos with everybody out here. How to teach advanced students. Quite different from beginner students, absolutely. Advanced students, it's I love it because it's like a real class. Sometimes I can get into history and philosophy or you know, different stuff like that, social studies. And so when I can have a student who is advanced, it brings a whole nother layer of of teaching that's available in that lesson because in learning, not only the, the student learning, but you can learn from your student. Because I love when I can ask, the Chinese culture is very interesting, you know. They're very smart, they're very educated, they like to read a lot. So there's always something that you can find interesting to relate with and bring up and talk about it and share different ideas. It's, it's really a dream come true. I, I, I mean that. It's really a dream come true to be teaching English online with Palfish. And to be able to be in a different country right now, and I don't, I'm under the foreign exclusion tax, and there's just so many things. Like, I've been through a lot of crazy stuff, you know, and you guys have probably been through a lot of crazy stuff too. And to be here right now, to be free, and finish paying off my credit card debt, paid family back, paid people back that I had owed money to, just having that weight off my shoulders now and be able to move forward, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling inside, guys. So you never know where your life can take you. And that's what I'm saying is, if you're in the university, finish your degree. It doesn't matter what's, what your degree is in. Finish your bachelor's. And then uh, if you wanna get your master's, okay, great. If not, and you don't wanna stay in your home country, Southeast Asia 
is a wonderful place to be. It's so amazing and that's why you can find so many videos on YouTube and online and social media about the lifestyle that's out here. Pretty much it's like um, a couple places in Vietnam, Bangkok, Chiang Mai, to all the beaches in Thailand, and then Bali and stuff like that. So uh, those seem like to be the most popular places for people living abroad and doing things online and working online and stuff like that. So if I had a mentor, if I was 22 and I was watching this video and listening to Camden Long speak and understanding what my opportunities were, um, I don't know what I would have done because I'm really happy with where I'm at. I'm very grateful for what I have. You know, I have a beautiful, smart wife who's really loyal and caring. I have a house that I can live in. I have a bed that I can sleep in. I have money coming in every month. I have money coming in every day, actually. And, you know, I'm healthy. I'm happy. I have a car. I have a vehicle. I have a lot of great stuff and I have a wonderful family waiting for me back home in America, you know. My, my mom and dad, my brother, and you know, his family. So there's just so many things. And I can't believe that my life has come to here living in a village atmosphere in the countryside of Thailand, but I really, really love it. And I just want everybody to know that if you feel stuck or you don't know what to do and you finish your degree, or even if you haven't, you know, well, yeah, if you have finished your degree, you really need it. You got to get your TEFL certification and you got to come out, you know, you got to come out to Southeast Asia. So we're going to keep moving. The Teach Advanced students, you need to have, of course, the lesson, you know, we follow the lesson and do all that stuff. Let's see, what do you do in Thailand, though? How to attract more students? Hey, man, you got to, you got to. Keep uploading more, more videos, forget the pictures, more videos, more people need to listen to your voice, more people need to see your face, how you present yourself, your body language. And you gotta do that on Palfish, you know? Videos and voice, forget the pictures. Pictures are cool, but it's not gonna get you to have more bookings. And then tons of videos on it, big dolls. And uh, in Thailand, I really ultimately want to have a farm one day. I want to have a, a big garden. Well, I already have a garden, but I'd love to have, like, to be able to work outside more. Video podcast. Yes, you have to do video podcasts. Okay. So, how to recover from online teacher burnout? Well, in the last video that I went over, the dark side of teaching English online, I pretty much covered all of that. So if you guys do have any questions about online teacher burnout, please feel free to comment below, let me know. But I covered that really well in depth last video. And what separates great teachers from good teachers? And there's a lot of different things that you need to keep into consideration, you know. Um, if you're not interested in learning the Chinese language or learning about the Chinese culture, then it's probably not gonna be a great fit for you because you gotta be interested in who you, where your students are coming from. You don't have to take a trip to China. You don't have to learn the Chinese language, but I decided to do all those things and they paid off, you know, like not only with Palfish, but just in my own life, you know, for some people in the USA to like, to move out to Asia or to, to fly out to Asia, it's like, it's like flying to Mars, you know, like a little city where I come from. It's like, dude, you're going to China? Whoa, you're going to Thailand? whoa i'm like yeah i'm just gonna buy a ticket and jump on the plane and let's go like that's how it is you know now i've settled down a lot more and I, there is a time and place for settling down i really believe that i don't think that you know i believe having a partner is a good thing and having and being loyal to that one partner is a good thing and i think anything other than that is just uh Everybody's got to have their own, you know, single time and their time to find themselves and stuff like that. But there is also a time to, you know, you're going to find the, the one that you love when you're doing what you love. So, and you don't know when it's going to happen. You can't plan on the day on Wednesday, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I'm going to meet the love of my life, you know. I was single for many, many years, a long time and uh, went through a lot of changes. And then when I came to Thailand, 
hey, what can I say? I met a wonderful woman, you know? And what I realized too is we're always gonna have temptations. You know, we're always gonna have temptations and we're always going to have challenges and relationship communication. And that is a struggle, what can you say? But that's why you have to make the most of it and be grateful for what you have and learn how to work together because yeah, the things that make you uncomfortable in the long run, they're gonna make you a better person. Without that stuff, you wouldn't become a better person to who you can be. Cameroon, wow, Marie from Cameroon, thank you. Happy to follow you and I really need to enroll in this Palfish stuff, need your help. Okay, so I will say that if you're not from a native English speaking country, then you can apply and get verified to do free talk. I'd speak up here and I'm not trying to bust anybody's dream bubble, but you have to be realistic when it comes to palfish. Because if you are from a non-native English speaking country, it's already, the odds are already against you. They're already stacked against you. There's only a few teachers that I have seen that are non-native English teachers from non-native, like there's some, uh, Alec from Serbia, you know, he's got over a thousand teaching hours and a lot and thousands of followers. And, you know, it took him a long time to do that, but he enjoys it. That's the whole thing. You know, if you're a good teacher and you like it, people are going to feel that energy and people are going to come back. So that's why people come back to this YouTube channel. People tell me, it's like, I'm not even a teacher, but I just like your videos because your energy. I'm like, well, Man, I need to keep going, and I hope you guys keep going. Steven, coming to Southeast Asia was the best thing I ever did, same as you got the girl too. Awesome, you need to rhyme too, man. Can't believe you're still in here, Steve, um, but I really appreciate it. And crazy, I remember talking to you when I was at the restaurant in Chiang Mai the first time we spoke, and um, yeah, just crazy. So I appreciate, appreciate it, man, and uh, hopefully everything is going well for you, and uh, I'm going to say it, if you want to teach on Palfish, let me know. I got the hookup. I got the links. Okay, guys, so online teacher burnout. We already talked about that. Take a break. Get balance. What separates the good teachers from the great teachers? Um, learning Chinese, learning the geography of China, getting writing back to all the students' feedback, doing your feedback on time, coming to class on time, presenting yourself well, having a great background, having your voice ready, ready to articulate, you know, all that stuff. You gotta learn how to open your mouth, boys and girls. And then you also should start to learn about the holidays and the customs in China. And the more you can learn and do that type of stuff, it's gonna make a big impact. Because everybody who gets tells me, hey, I listened to your advice and it worked. I'm getting more bookings. I'm like, great, keep going. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So number 10 is how to combine all nine elements that I shared with you guys here in this live stream. How can you combine all of these modules, not the modules, the elements? How to go long term. How to build your reputation. How to get recommendations. You have to remember to have fun. You have to remember that it takes time. I will say this again and again. I started on Palfish. April 2016. I did not break my first thousand dollars until November 2016. That's a long time. Official course did not come out until fall, late, late summer, fall 2017. And it did not even pick up in the manner that it is until 2018. That's almost two years on the app before the official course really started picking up and gaining leverage. So, you know, what can I say? You guys have to be willing to put in the time and the effort. And if you wanna just jump onto the official course, that's great. That's a great option and I recommend that because that is a wonderful way to get started. What can I say, you know? If I was getting started, I think, okay, cool, free talk is great, but if I can make more doing the official course, I would also like that. So, and I wanna say thank you to all of the, the teacher referrals, like over 50 people now, they have a choice to get on the Palfish and teach every day and make money at their home. From watching these, these YouTube videos on my channel, it's so crazy. 
it's so crazy and I want to I want to do more I want to help more I want to inspire more I want to reach more people I want to make more money I want to help more people gosh it's like I just you have to have patience you have to have patience and it's a constant reminder for myself but I realized that when you're crafting something you've got to get really great at it and when you believe in yourself and you've got the experience to back it up and you've got the message and you've got the message then you've already cracked the code in this life you know I feel like I've cracked a big code because I'm not stressed out living back home working a dead-end job and being unhappy and stressed out in a silly relationship I got rid of all that baggage, you know, and I decided to move on even though it wasn't easy. Sometimes at a desperation, at a survival, I've had to keep going on and had to force it. But here I'm at wonderful, beautiful, quiet location. Start teaching my next class in about three more hours with a student. They're twins, so students that I've had for almost three years now, which is, it's really, really cool. So when I have classes with the twins, um, it's like, hey, what's up? And then before I know it, the class is finished and I'm, oh man, 25 minutes is so fast, you know? So I could sit here, I love talking, I love listening, I love communicating. Like, I don't really have that much English interaction on an advanced level out here because, I mean, I can talk to my wife, I talk to my students, and uh, that's pretty much it, really. So. I would love to be able to train teachers like on a video chat. I would love to do meetups. I would love to speak in front of people. I would love to keep making a bigger impact. And I have to say, I have to say that money cannot buy you happiness, but money surely can bring happiness and relief. Money can bring relief. You're welcome, big doll. I was just trying to do my thing. Okay, Marie. So, a native English speaking country from the USA, Canada, Australia, the UK, and New Zealand. Those are the current countries that are for the official course on Palfish. It's better than VIP Kids. VIP Kids is just for North American accent only. So, just breaking it down for you. I'm not trying to lead anybody on, you know? So, if there's anything I can do to serve you guys more, I would love to know. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help you guys. And I'll just keep coming with more YouTube videos, you know? Maybe not, not maybe what, sometimes, you know, we care so much about how many likes we get or we care so much about how many views we get with what we're doing and we, stop to, we need to stop and remember, you uploaded something. That takes confidence, that takes self-esteem, and it takes believing in yourself. So to upload something that any little millimeter inside of you is a little nervous, you just said no to the fear, and you said yes to the love, you said yes to the positiveness, you said yes to the openness and the opportunity that can happen. And you gotta be willing to keep going. You have to be willing to keep going. So many people quit. So many people quit. This week, the past few weeks have been so challenging, dealing with a lot of personal stuff, a lot of stuff. And, and then this week, getting message after message from people using my links, new teachers, $45 bonus, $90 bonus yesterday in one day. I never had that before. Two teacher referrals successfully completed their interview. $90, like free essentially, you know? And... I know I'm sitting up here talking about a lot of stuff in my life, but I'm just sharing this because this is my experience and I'm hoping to inspire and bring awareness to what you guys have the opportunity to. And you have to find what is your own destiny and what your own personal mission is in this life. Maybe your personal mission is not to be an online English teacher. Maybe your mission is to teach at a school or to have another type of career. I don't know. But that's why you have to try and do new things. I've washed dishes at a cupcake cafe before. You know, I had to do that. 
when I moved back home with my parents. So I've been a dishwasher. I've been the host at a pizza place. I've been the waiter. I've been the server. I've been the lifeguard. I've been the substitute teacher. I've been the swim coach. I've done all that stuff. Done so many. I've been the volunteer camp people, you know, camp counselor, all that stuff. So I had to try a lot of different things and my family and people around me thought I was crazy, you know, and I had to believe in myself. And especially when I went vegan, kind of like very radical, you know, and I pushed my friends away, I pushed my family away, you know, social media and the way I talk to people and just, you know, face to face and online. And I had to go down a really dark period of my life. And I can't say that I regret it because if I didn't, if I hadn't gone through a really, really tough time in my life for through many years, like this period of my life was really whew, so crazy, then I probably wouldn't have, number one, I wouldn't be here, but I wouldn't be able to talk so freely about the stuff that I do. Um, because I just feel like I have nothing to lose. And you can't care about what other people, and another thing is we always hear, you know, don't compare yourself to others, but it's true. Like, don't compare yourself to anyone because you are not that person. You are only you and you will always be you. And the more you try to compare yourself to someone else, whether it's bad or whether that person is going through something good, successful or a defeat, Stop comparing yourself and focus on your own game. Focus on your own lane, your own destiny. It's great to be inspired by other people. It's great to do research and review and look at videos on your free time when you know you can do that. But you gotta be going out there and getting it. You gotta go out there and get it. Like take action. And reach out to people, you know? Reach out to as many people as you can. And I think that, you know, I've reached out to a lot of people, but I, I learned from other people's mistakes. I think that's a th something that has changed my life. And I remember, I'll never forget when this guy at the gym told me, I forget his name, back home in Hampton, Hampton YMCA, Hampton City, Virginia, YMCA, the guy said, I, heard, I once heard, a smart man learns from his own mistakes and a wise man or woman learns from another person's mistakes. And when I see people in relationships and money and expenses and consumerism and stuff like that, there is a bit of a judgment, I guess you could say, but it's more of, wow, I don't want to be like that. Whoa, I don't want to make that same mistake. And we have to learn self-control over our emotions. It's not easy and it's going to be an uphill battle. But once you start to master that self-control, You'll keep growing and building more momentum and motivation within yourself to keep rolling and keep it flowing. And that's what's ultimately happened now. I mean, people, you know, if I never would have started these YouTube videos, if I never believed in myself, and if I would have listened to other people putting me down for putting links on my videos, then I wouldn't be able to have the opportunity that I have right now and the success. Okay. Alec, your own palfish. Okay, so big dolls is Alec. Thank you. Best country to live while I build up bookings. Hello, Edward. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your question. I would say the best country to live in while you're trying to build up bookings. I don't know if you have money coming in or what the situation is, but I would say Southeast Asia. You know, any place that's going to have low expenses like food, rent, transportation, but at the same time, you need something that's gonna have a good strong 4G connection. So I would recommend Thailand and Laos because those are the only two countries I've really visited here, you know, but a lot of people like Cambodia, a lot of people like Vietnam, and uh, maybe sometime in the near future, Myanmar might be a safer and more stable place to go and visit. I really can't say. But uh, I was in Sri Lanka teaching English at an Airbnb location, teaching online with Palfish, had no issues, taught there for three days. You're welcome, Edward. And where are you right now? Uh, are, maybe you messaged me on Palfish, I forget, because some people have different names on their YouTube and Palfish. But 
Edward, uh, do you have your TEFL certificate? Like, are you ready to go as an online teacher? Let me know. Hey, guys, you got to let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy. I'm going to stay on here a few more minutes. This is what I'm saying. Like, I'm, this is almost one hour, and I'm not getting any money from this right now. And I say that because most people that I talk to, so many people, you would not believe, people get attitudes with me. I'm like, I almost want to tell them, yo, I'm helping you get a new job so you can make money working at home. Show me some more respect or I'm done with you. Like, I could say it like that, but I don't. I'm a nice guy, right? But it, again, that's why the more communication you have with other people online, you're going to see their online etiquette. And then you have to adjust and learn how to have a better online etiquette for yourself, you know? Quick, short, simple messages. It's not easy to read a long message. Sometimes that might be the most appropriate thing, but not always. And when you're meeting something, somebody for the first time, show a little bit of respect. Like, thanks for your videos. I'm on Palfish because of you. I have a quick question, please. Something like that, you know, so many people Gosh, I just can't believe people get attitude with me for helping them get a new job. That's what I'll, blows my mind. So anyway, uh, <laughs> oh gosh, I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a great day here in Thailand. It's been rainy the last like two days, and today is a bit cloudy, kind of storm cloudy, but uh, the garden is looking good. I think I might do some more live YouTube videos here. Hey, Gretchen, thank you so much. It's great to hear from you. Gretchen, uh, are you from a native English-speaking country? Let me know. And Edward says, I'm in mainland. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I was talking to you. So, ends in August, and I want to transition into online. So, my biggest recommendation is, Edward, you need to get your TEFL cert. If you don't have, message me on Messenger, message me on Palfish. I'll help you. There's an online cert for $139. And the next thing is, if you do have your TEPL cert, just jump on Palfish and start, do the official course now. You're already in China. You're already familiar with the culture. You probably speak the language a little bit. I say that because it's May. I can't believe it. It's May, right? And so next month is June. And the Chinese summer is right around the corner. So if you could get on two months before the Chinese summer is in full swing, then people will know who you are a little bit more. And that way when the summer opens up, you could have your mornings, your afternoons, and your evenings all taken care of, all opened up for you. So that's my biggest piece of recommendation right there. So Edward, message me on Palfish. I'd love to help you out for the whole process. And I really mean that. Hey, Joshua, Joshua, thanks for your vids. I've watched quite a few. Should I get the TESOL cert before applying at Palfish? Great question, and the answer is yes. You can get a TESOL, you can get your TEFL. Um, Joshua, give me a little bit more, give me just a little bit more background real quick. Are you going to get your TEFL online? What country are you from? Let me know real quick, and then I'll tell you what the next step is, okay? Where are you from? And are you going to get your TEFL or TESOL online? Gretchen is from the U.S. living in Mexico. That's wonderful. Hope you're having a great time. Habla Espanol. No? Do you speak Spanish? Yo hablo Espanol muy bien. <laughs> Está muy divertido también. So, uh, Gretchen, when did you get on to Palfish? Okay, I guess you saw my videos. But Gretchen, I didn't see that you entered my link. Are you an official teacher yet? Let me know. I want a referral bonus. <laughs> I want that $45. Joshua, okay, cool. You're from Hawaii. Great, native English speaker. I can make some money from you. <laughs> so all the critics out there. Anyway, hey, I'm helping people and people are helping me. It's a one way, it's a give and give relationship. So cool, you are from Hawaii. I went to Maui. 2006 or 2007. It was an amazing experience with the Kihei or Kihei Beach. Stay there for about a week. It was an amazing time. Super beautiful. Okay, online. Joshua, look, I'll just say this. If you want to get it quick and cheap, yes, Groupon is the quickest and the cheapest. But if you want to at least use your money towards something that you can learn from, 
and you can also do it quickly, it's a 60 hour course, let me know because the course that I'm talking about is online, it's $139 but I know the director, we have a direct line together on Gmail. So Joshua, if you're really serious, drop your email and I'll take a screenshot and then I'll save your email and I'll send you an email like soon as this live video is over with. So if you wanna get started, and hey Joshua, where are you right now? Are you still in Hawaii? See, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say is like, I wish I could have more interaction and learn get to know people more on a one, not a one-on-one -on -one basis, but learn more information about the people who I'm trying to help and then get them started to get them set up, you know, on Palfish. Because the more information, you know, it's like when somebody says they want to teach online, I'm like, oh gosh, where are you from? Do you have experience? Do you have Teflo cert? I've done that over a hundreds of times in the past few weeks and it's good. I get like 9%, 10% of people actually respond to me but that's okay, it's all about building awareness and doing things because you think it's the best for you and what's gonna help people. So Joshua, you gotta let me know, buddy. Do you have, are you in Hawaii right now? Are you abroad already? What is your email address? Hey, Big Dolls TV, absolutely your lives need to be free. Don't charge, ever. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You need to do at least 10 or 15 lives before you ask for money. I'm serious. So I guess maybe, uh, Joshua, I don't know if you're so interested, buddy. You got to let me know. And Gretchen, what happened to Gretchen? I think she left too. I think it's too late over there. I live on Kauai. Oh, wow. I've been a high school tech coordinator for 15 years looking for something different. Wow, that's really cool, Joshua. Thank you for sharing. Wow. So, uh, I don't know the time zone difference. I don't know. But you have experience with teaching. And you've done it for a long time. So, and Palfish is something very different from high school tech coordinating. So, Joshua gotta give me your email address i'm not gonna spam you bro i just want to send you some links get you started answer any question that you might have and then boom off you go so if you could give anybody and same for you gretchen give me your email address wow why is everybody from Kauai? joshua and gretchen oh my gosh pretty cool Pretty cool. And there's only like nine people in here. What are the chances of that? So that's why our community is so tight. Hey, Brian Espinoza. What's up, brother? Good to hear from you again. And I just want to know, I saw your, your weightlifting video. You're doing, I'm not, not squats, but I think it was like uh, deadlift, I think. But looking good, man. You're doing a good job. Keep going, you know? <laughs> No, Joshua, it didn't show. So I think the, the easiest thing that you could do is, uh, here, let me see if I can leave a message. I don't think I can. No, I cannot. Story settings. It's okay. So I don't know why, but I cannot show, I cannot even write back to you guys, but... Um, Joshua, if you send a, a, if you write your email address, serious, real quick, if you write your email address, Joshua, on any of my videos on my YouTube channel, it could be any of them, it could be the last one, I get an automatic message on my phone when someone writes a message on a YouTube video, so I'll see that, I'll go right to it and copy your, your email, okay? Okay, Gretchen, I've been on Palpush for a year and a half and I love it. Okay, fantastic. And are you teaching on the official course, Gretchen? Let me know. I guess you are if you've been teaching online for that. Bob Holman. So, what's up, Bob? <laughs> hey guys, I'm having a great time. I could be here all day with you guys, but I think I'm gonna cut it now. So, uh, 
Okay, Joshua, I appreciate you getting back to me. I just want to get you started and on your way, right? Get you on your way. So Gretchen, thanks for taking the time to, to, to participate here on the chat. And hey, Brian, your question, sorry. What's your biggest tip in getting students in pelfish? The biggest tip, if you could do something every day, the biggest tip to getting students, to getting students, to get students, like people interested, I think you gotta take a look at Rice James profile, my profile, and you'll see the type of videos that I've put out. You'll see the type of, you gotta be on Palfish every day. Put out a new live every day, 15 minutes. Put out a new video, video every day. It's 30 seconds or 60 seconds. If you could put a new video out every day, if you could do a new live every day for the next two weeks, for 14 days, you will get new students and you will have a better understanding of yourself because you're not asking about how to retain students, you're asking me about how to get students. So I got students by putting myself out there and that's just the bottom line. Okay, Joshua, thanks. I really appreciate it. Can you introduce a couple of students from my free talk? Um, no. And I say that not to be mean, but I'm just saying that because, number one, I don't do any free talk anymore. I had a free talk kid the other night, and that was the first time I did a free talk in a long time. And I have this one student, Jerry, it's like three times a year um, because he was one of my regular free talk students. But I just dedicate everything on the official course. And... Big dollars, you should be able to get some students, you know, you really should. If you put yourself out there, you follow my steps, you actually do it and take action, you really should be able to get some, some students, okay, buddy? Because I really don't keep in contact with free talk students on Palfish. I just, like, again, for about over a year now, I've just focused on the kids, kids' course. Brian, uh, that's a great compliment. I do appreciate it. Um, but you know, it's like, I think inside yourself, you need to believe that you're the best, that you're the best that you can be. And then some people, you know, like DJ Cal, you know, we the best, you know, it's like, uh, all, everything he does is the best, you know, <laughs> but, um, I think it's great to have that attitude and mentality, but at the same time, always be open to learning and to experiencing new things. And yo, the storm is about to bust open. Look at this cloud, you guys. It's way too dark, but it is windy. You guys see the wind? It is about the storm here in the countryside of Thailand, guys. So I should probably go before my connection snaps and then I lose all this live video documentation. Um, but I, you know, anyway. Thanks, Gretchen. I appreciate it. I feel like I have some friends now. I feel like I can communicate with some people. I'm not lonely now. Maybe I should do this more often. But uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for all the support out there. I really appreciate it. Without you, this channel would never grow and never get over to 5,000 subscribers. And I can basically maintain right now $60 a month. Hey, $60 is $60, you know. I, my card actually expired, so I can't even touch that money. I might just let it go for a couple years. And before I know it, I'll have like $5,000 on that card, and then I can like go to a vacation and enjoy myself with my wife or my loved ones, you know? And I pray to have a family one day. I really want to have a family, you know? We'll see what happens in the next few months. It's all in God's hands, and I can't worry about that. I just have to focus on what I have, and you should focus on what you have and be grateful for the things that you have and keep moving forward. There's one more thing I forgot I was going to say, but we'll save it for another time. Thank you guys so much. Take care. All the best.